to Beyond Books. I'm Julie Farkas, director of the Novi Public Library. And today, my special guest is Michael Corson, CEO and founder of My Coupon Genie. Um, the library last year in 2014 tried something new when it comes to fundraising. And you might be familiar with these small coupon savings books that we were selling at the library um, and out in the community. And I'm happy to let you know that over $4,000 was raised for the library through the sales of these coupon books in the last year. And that money is going to go towards some technology that we plan to be putting in the building. This definitely benefits all of our community members here in Novi. And I thank all of you who participated in that program. Today, um, I have the opportunity to speak with Michael, and Michael has joined the library with a new adventure when it comes to fundraising and taking this coupon idea and going digital. Michael, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me a little bit of my coupon. What is my coupon genie? Well, I started the program in 2010 with a basic concept of getting direct content, advertising, if you will, to consumers who actually want it. Mm -hmm. um, as a consumer, we're getting inundated with emails, texts, it, it's just a lot, right? So um, I had a concept, very simple, was just to ask consumers what they really want, let them segment out the categories they choose to get, and then provide that content to them directly. Uh, in, in multiple fashion. That? Well, there's multiple ways to do it. Um, the easiest way is just notifications in the applications. Um, you know, we feel, as we discuss, it's our job to provide great content, good business partners, um, with with you know valuable offers for consumers. But I, as a consumer, I, I'm really you know we, we live busy lives, right? right. So I'm not going to chase it down. I'm not going to hunt, even though a lot of shoppers enjoy that. Um, I just think it's our job to deliver it to them very simply, easily, whether it's a desktop, whether it's a Apple device or an Android device, or, or even a Windows phone. It doesn't matter. It's my job to bring that content to them very simply. So the library is going to have our own app, and it's called my. It's called the Novi Library Coupon Club. So right. that's what consumers, that's what all of our patrons and residents will see. If they go to our website, um, if they are, you know, and through any of our media and then the businesses that we're working with, they would download the My Coupon, um, the Novi Library Coupon app, and then they have the opportunity to save with lots of discounts, basically, right? Right, well, it, we've partnered with you, so it's really our app, but we're hosting your, your program. Correct. And it's really a powerful um, relationship for us and for the businesses that are part of the network um, because the library's benefiting. Correct, we are. The opportunity here is, um, last year you were paying $30 for over $500 um, worth of savings in the Novi community. And now, by just downloading the Novi uh, Library's Coupon Club app, they can get hundreds and hundreds of dollars of savings and discounts all from Novi businesses. How many businesses do you think we're going to reach out to this year? Our target is 200. There's 662 retail businesses in Novi alone, and that's growing every day. Right. It's really a shopping mecca here in Novi. Mm -hmm. Millions of people shop here. Um, we already have 45, over 45 businesses that have said yes to the program, and we're getting more, you know, every day. Right, right. Um, So our, our goal is to be diversified in the offering, so when people shop here, they really should join the club, download the app, and, and it's so simple to use. Mm -hmm. Why not save money every day? So patrons will come into the library or come into our website or go even on the library's current app that we have and they'll look for our fundraiser, they'll look for our coupon club app and then just easily download on their iPhones, so pretty much any smartphone, Android, iPhone, their desktop computers. They just instantly click download and then they have this app that they can go into and basically they're, they're shopping based on the things that they like, that they're looking for discounts, things they do. What's some examples of some of the businesses that are currently part and sponsoring um, with the library to do this? Well, currently Paradise Park um, okay. saw immediate value. They advertised in multiple mediums and saw this as a great opportunity. Uh, Stephen Rockies, 
Um, great, great participant last year. This year, you know, obviously digital um, can bring more segmentation, more offers, mm -hmm. uh, customization. Uh, Kiefer Towing, great, great business here in Novi. I mean, how great is it? You know, you need a tow or you get a collision. There, there are offers there that, you know, that they've had before, but I don't know that most people know about them. Right. And even if they did, how easy it is to go get it. So, um, several different partners. Uh, you know, there's multiple food vendors. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're looking into some jewelry partners. Yeah, Larson um, Jewelry rated that, one of the best jewelers, mm -hmm. like four out of five years right here in Novi. Right. I've lived here in 14 years and, and I never knew his store was there. It's a perfect example of why, you know, I need to know where these Correct. merchants are. So the library, what we're doing is we're we're taking the partners and the relationships we've had with businesses and we're, we're building even greater relationships by doing this, inviting them to take part with the library. They're actually sponsoring and giving their, their sponsorship to the library, saying, yes, I support the library and what the library does with all the different programming, events, technology that we do. They're supporting the library and we're bringing the consumers all of these discounts and all these opportunities. Absolutely. So it sounds like a wonderful win then for anyone living in Novi as a resident or anyone who might be coming to Novi to shop, um, if they're not downloading the Novi Library Coupon Club app, it's they're, it's almost silly that they're, they're missing, they're missing out. out. They're right? absolutely missing out. They're missing out. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning and, and giving us some insight. Um, we will be launching this new app with Michael and uh, my coupon genie. Be looking for it in the new year, and we hope that you will be able to take just as much opportunity with the discounts and enjoy it as much as we hope you will. Um, and we'll be back to give you some more information as time comes on. But thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Julie. All right, you ready for some baseball trivia? Let's do it. What year produced the most no-hit games in the big leagues? Seven no-hitters in 1990. Wow, that's right. Now a question that's not trivial. How many children will witness bullying this year? Huh. Uh, the answer, three out of four. 75 percent? That's wow. right. How many of them will say something? Kids want to help, but don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. Hi, thank you for tuning in to Beyond Books. Um, we have a very special episode for you today. I'm here with the one and only, a lot of you guys know her, love her, Margie Carpoper. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Margie. <laughs> How are you? Here. I'm great. Good to be here. Thanks. Thank you for uh, joining me today. Um, so we're going to talk about a big event that's coming up for the holidays um, that we're kind of doing with the city of Novi. Um, light up the night. I'll let you tell me a little bit more about okay. it, when it is and what's happening. Okay, special time in Novi. It is. Um, everybody's celebrating as soon as, well, probably starting in November, but really as soon as that calendar flips to December, we're all ready. Yeah. Uh, so we are lighting up the whole campus, the whole city's campus. The city will have activities and the Novi Library will have a lot as well. Great. So that is on Friday, December 5. Okay. We're doing a six to nine and we will have lots of things going on. Dan the Choo Choo Man's gonna be back. Yay! And okay. um, <laughs> he just kind of rotates around uh, the, the main part of the front of the library, giving the kids train rides. Really wonderful. Last uh, year that was a big hit. Yes, it was. And last year was freezing, but even in spite of that, we still had train rides for the three hours. Actually, Good. Dan won't start till 6.30. Okay. But, and then at seven o'clock, we have a magic show with Baffling Bill. Oh, yep. another good performer. Absolutely, and he will also do one at eight o'clock. So we'll have okay. two magic shows, Dan, um, popcorn for everybody. Um, the other thing that's really cool is Anna from Frozen will be at the oh, library this year. Oh, she's making an year. appearance? She is. Oh my gosh. Yes, so bring your cameras, lots of photo ops with her. Um, much of this is sponsored by the Behringer family this okay. year, so we're excited about that. They are a huge help for this program. Yeah, so thanks to them again, Great. wonderful supporters. Um, Rita Latte Cafe? They're Rita gonna Latte is going to be having the um, free hot chocolate. Oh, good. Did okay. I mention popcorn? You did. Okay. Well, you can always mention it again. I mean, I love popcorn. <laughs> so. Popcorn and hot chocolate. You're talking about yeah. it. <laughs> so, and just fun to be together and, um, you know. Sights and the sound of the city. Exactly. So, that's, that's what we're doing. A fun night. I can't remember how many years we've been doing it, but um, every year our crowds know. get bigger and bigger. and They do. They so do. It's wonderful, exciting. wonderful to see everybody. I mean, it's hard to believe that uh, 
I mean, it's November. What's the date today? November uh, 11. 11. But, Veterans Day. Right. November 11th. It's hard to believe that the holidays are fast approaching. Absolutely. So, but fun times. Fun time, family and friends, and we're going to have a lot of exciting things coming up. Good. I know you've been so busy. Yeah, it's, <laughs> but it's all good. I mean, last time I spoke with you, you did the um, On the Road. Oh, right. How did that and go? It, fabulous. Good. Yeah, I we had a be. great, great time. <laughs> good. Right. So, good. Uh, next time we do the bus, I'm going to put signs on it. We're from Novi. No, All right. Just I am Novi. <laughs> <laughs> the new right. slogan. Great. Anything else? That, what else? No, do but like I hope everybody will mark this on their calendar and come spend some time with us. They don't have to come for the whole two and a half hours. If they can just come for some of it, we'd love to see everybody. Yeah, pop in and it's going to be a great event. Good. So, good. all right. Thanks good. for having me. Thank you for talking to me. Have okay. a good day. I'll you see you too. soon. You got it. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye now. Thank you for watching Beyond Books. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Um, you're watching Beyond Books, and we have a very special episode today. I'm here with uh, Suzanne Carpenter, Youth and Teen Collection Specialist. Suzanne, how hey, are you? Good. Good to see you again. Um, you are going to be talking about a big event that goes on at the library here every year, uh, Battle of the Books. It's a wonderful tradition with our community. Um, for some of our viewers that are not familiar with Battle of the Books or might want to be new starting out and mm -hmm. join the program and the event, um, can you explain a little bit more about what it is? Yeah, the Battle of the Books is kind of an annual event. Um, the actual battle happens in the spring. Okay. But this is the time we get rolling with it and we get the teams formed. Um, so basically, it's a team of students, anywhere from three to six uh, kids that need to be in, live in Novi or go to Novi schools in fifth or sixth grade. Okay. Um, they can form a team and um, then they kind of work on a team. We give them six titles to read. Um, we give it to them in December and they have until March to read the titles and then we have a big event where we kind of quiz them on how well um, they've read those titles. Oh, very so they have to read all six books? Right. Okay. They have to get all six books, yep. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice. Um, how, do you, how do you choose the books? Um, well, we, we try to read throughout the year um, stuff that is good for fifth and sixth graders and then we try to pick things that are different genres of literature, so some historical fiction, um, some sci-fi, some realistic fiction, just have a good blend for kids. and Especially like that age group. Exactly, and we like to pick stuff that maybe they haven't read themselves yet that's a good read that maybe they've passed it by on the shelf because um, there's a lot of the good books that maybe just haven't had their chance yet. So or we don't even know about, you exactly, know, which is yeah. great that you give them that variety of books to read. Mm -hmm. um, and it's always been a big success and a huge turnout in March. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? I We've mean, been doing it over 10 years okay. and we have, um, we do try to keep it to 12 teams just because it's manageable but this year we do have a little more space that the city's given us a little more space so we could accept more teams if we oh good if there's that interest um, so yeah it's been really great because it used to be here and then it grew so large or did it not used to be here I don't think it was ever here okay we, it started when we had the old library and the old okay. library didn't have much space so it's always been at the Civic Center it's always okay been at the well Civic they have Center, a yeah. large wonderful space yeah. so that's perfect they're for very them. gracious to us so yeah it's great to be able to use it good well that's exciting so December 1st registration begins right so um, December 1st you can pick up your registration form here for your Battle of the Books team so um, every team needs a coach it can be a parent it could be a teacher um, just an adult over 18 needs to okay. be in charge of the team so they'll sign up their team members and then on December 10th we'll have a coaches meeting so the adults will come we'll go over kind of what their responsibilities are um, in the next few months as they okay. get ready for the battle and then on that December 10th meeting we'll announce the titles of the books. Okay so you already have the teams picked out on December 10th? Most of the teams are already formed by December okay. 10th yes. Is it usually the same uh, reoccurring teams? Sometimes p teams okay. repeat. We did have a few years ago a repeat winner. Um, their team won when they were fifth graders and then they formed oh, okay. kind of like a similar team the next year and they won again. So oh, very cool. It just depends, yeah. But every well, that year, shows just how successful it's been if they're reoccurring teams like right, that. Right, right. And it's nice to see new faces. So It is, yeah. You can only do it for two years and then you know, you're kind of on to other things, so it's nice to have fresh teams every yeah. year, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. very cool. Well, anything, I know it's going to be a busy time for you. Anything else that you want to add to this? No, I think that um, just to have uh, teams register, remember you can register starting December 1st, yeah. 
and then we will the battle is March 14th so that'll be here from, before we know it I know from December <laughs> 10th we'll announce the titles till March um, 14th you'll have the time to read and it is a really fun event it's um, it's a great way to celebrate reading and encourage reading and so good. that's why we're so excited about it that's exciting well your team does a good job so I'm looking forward to oh, it thanks. and um, and it'll be on our website, novilibrary.org, yep. mm -hmm. all on the Battle of the Books page, all the information. And the registration so. form will be yep. on there as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. Okay, well, thank you so much. I look forward to uh, attending the event and just seeing um, over the next few months. Yeah. So that's great. Thank you so much. And You're welcome. We'll chat soon. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for watching Beyond Books. So I've come up with the family emergency plan. Great. What is it? It's difficult to talk about. So I'm not telling you. How will we know what to do? You won't. I'm so glad I won't have to remember anything. And me too. Thanks for this, sweetie. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Welcome to Beyond Books. My name is Julie Farkas and I'm director of the Novi Public Library. My special guest today is Kathy Crawford. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to be here. I'm always glad to be at the library. Well, you, Kathy, you and Hugh both have been huge supporters of our library for a number of years. Um, in fact, how many years have you and, and Hugh lived in Novi? We've lived in Novi over 70 years. I hesitate to say because it's a lot of years, but um, really our parents and our grandparents lived here. We always joke about the fact that, you know, we got married and we've known each other our whole lives. And we always said, well, we had to get married because we were the only two people in Novi <laughs> back in the day. So. Um, yeah, we've been here a long, long time, our whole life. And I know that the library has been a very special part of Novi for you and, and a special place for you to get involved. Um, yes. You're involved in our historical commission. Um, you do volunteer hours at our book nook right here in the library with our friends. That. Yes, because yes, I know it gives you a chance to see all of the community members come right. in and and you get a, a first run at those books because I know you enjoy reading as well. But um, and Hugh also has been you know a big part of the library and has been involved and in, and actually I had the pleasure of working with him a little bit at the state level and with libraries. So he's done some campaigning specifically for that. But today we're we're here for a, a very special reason. And and that's because you and Hugh celebrated a 50th wedding anniversary in I September. Know. Wow, that's a long yes. time, isn't it? I never thought I would ever achieve that. Oh, I hope I but. can aspire. <laughs> so I congratulate both of you. With the same person. Yes, 50 years exactly. With one person. That's pretty <laughs> remarkable now that I think about it. It is. And I and I thank you so much because what you've done is you both have decided that when when you celebrated your 50th that instead of gifts and, and friends, when they came and celebrated with you, you decided that in lieu of gifts, you were going to have a donation made and work towards a fundraiser for the library. And, and that's why we're here today, because we wanna let other people in the Novi community know about this opportunity. And if they're interested in fundraising and they're looking for something specific mm -hmm. um, to put a gift towards, we, I think this is a, a fabulous one to, to definitely consider. Um, you both have decided on donating a statue to the, to the yes. library. Yes. And the name of the statue is? I Love My Country. Yes, and I what a my perfect, um, perfect title and yeah. definitely says a lot for you. Why does that mean so much to you? You know, I, I remember as a Girl Scout, and that would have been over 60 years ago, I was a Girl Scout in Novi, and I remember selling flags for $4 each on the corner of Novi Road and Grand River on Memorial Day. And everything you know we we grew up in a time when there was really it was the height of patriotism coming out of world war ii you know i was born in 42 so everybody really you know the flag is a symbol of american freedom mm -hmm. you know that's a symbol and i am a firm believer and so is hugh of leaving a legacy there's nothing that we need you know we personally need at this point in time in our life but I think it's remarkable when people leave something, their legacy. Mm -hmm. When I was the um, director of the Senior Center, I always tried to encourage the seniors at the center to write their story. Right. And I think that's leaving their legacy to those who come behind. But I think, you know, a visible reminder of Novi's patriotism or, it, you know, it's the iconic symbol of heroism, really. Right. The ordinary heroes, everyday heroes, 
in our lives today, the police, the fire, you know, ordinary citizens who do extraordinary things. And that's really what this statue says to me. And I really hope that by late spring, we'll be able to install something for the community to enjoy for decades. So. I know that we have a goal, so we're raising mm -hmm. $12,000 specifically yes. for this getting statue. Close. We are getting, getting close. close. Um, yeah. I'm happy to report that we are just um, at about 8,000, yes. um, and that's from uh, tons of donations that have been coming in. Mm -hmm. um, and Blair Bowman from the mm -hmm. Suburban Collection Showplace, and also he is in charge of our state fair every year, which yes. is another wonderful patriotic sure. tie-in. Yeah. Um, he donated $3,000 specifically to the statue. But um, the statue is going to be placed at the library. It's going to be on our patio. And the reason for placing it in that area is so that people from First Park will enjoy it. Yes. Um, people mm -hmm. from inside the library will see it from the outside. People who go on the patio, obviously, and enjoy the patio will have the opportunity mm -hmm. to enjoy it as well. You'll pretty much be able to see it from, from all areas of the library. So we have this opportunity. We're looking for people that, you know, if they want to take part, we will be continuing to fundraise. No matter how large or how small. Exactly. It doesn't. Matter. I it don't doesn't. Care if, if youth want to donate a dollar, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. This is, um, you know, this is important. This is not about our anniversary. It's right. really, it's a community um, activity that has great symbolism, I think. Absolutely. So, yeah. And the statue, which we will share a, a photo of, um, it's two children. It's a, it's a little girl boy. and a little boy, and they're actually mm -hmm. walking up a hill with a, an American flag. I, I love it because for me, I think when we were looking at what what we might mm -hmm. um, put it here at the library, it's you and Hugh. You yeah. know, it's it's any little Back girl and little yeah, boy. Sure. You know, and it, it represents so much for this community. Mm -hmm. But well, just that's a where wonderful you know piece. the youth, the young people, first say the Pledge of Allegiance. Right. You know, in school, that's one of the first things that they learn. Um, and so, it, you know, to me, yeah, and because we've known each other our whole lives, it would have made sense that I don't think at age five I really liked him that much. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't really think about partnership. Right. Um, but, you know, it is a symbol of the youth and growing up mm -hmm. with, um, you know, this iconic symbol, our flag. It is. Which, we, so if you're looking for an opportunity to um, continue to help us fundraise here at the library, um, we will take your donation specifically for the I Love My Country statue. You can connect with someone from the library in the administration office. We will, um, our hope is that we will um, continue to do fundraising up through the spring and then do an installation in 2015, hopefully by the summer months, so that people from the community will have the opportunity to start enjoying this wonderful legacy that you and Hugh are leaving with us and other people that are giving specifically for that project. So we hope that you look forward to, we want you to look forward to joining us in this project and, and working with us. Everyone who does donate will be recognized for their gift and we mm -hmm. hope that you will join us with that. I Kathy, sure hope so. thank you so much Thanks. for your time this Glad morning. Glad to be here, always. Absolutely, and I see that you have your red, white, and blue I on do. even. So I do, fantastic. I'm all about the patriotic <laughs> thing. You know, I'm all about it. Thank you for joining me today on Beyond Books.